you already know, you people already know, Split, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, right? Great director, had three or four really good movies in his earlier work and then he kind of slipped, but now he's back. James McAvoy, his character, he has 23 personalities in this bitch. Split personalities in this bitch. One of these personalities goes and kidnaps these three girls. God damn. So now these three girls have to deal with this guy with 23 split personalities. There's a 24th personality, which is some dangerous mofo. Let's just keep it real. Let's just get one thing out of the way. James McAvoy is a talented actor. He's amazing. He's a great actor, right? And what he deserves is an Oscar in this bitch. For his performances as the various different characters throughout this movie, he deserves an Oscar, hands down. And the three girls, who were kidnapped, also did a really amazing and believable job. It is a good movie for a number of different reasons. Two primarily, one which I'm gonna talk about and one which I can't talk about. But anyone who's watched it will know why I can't talk about the second one. You have a doctor who treats him and she's saying how with split personalities you can write with a different hand, you can perhaps even change your body structure because you know, the mind is a very peculiar thing, it's untapped. The general consensus is people with split personalities, it's an illness, but what if it's not an illness and what if they're more advanced than we are? That's one of the premises of the movie. There is something that happens in the movie which seems far-fetched. You've got to kind of leave some of the realism at the door, but once you get to the ending, you will understand. This is a movie you're going to watch twice, unquestionably. First time you watch it, you'll enjoy it for what it is. It's tense, it's gripping, it's very uncomfortable. There's something with, which happens with one of the three girls which really make you feel uneasy. And you understand why she is the way she is. She's got a very good character arc throughout this whole movie. So does McAvoy in this bitch. God damn, all of these different personalities he portrays on screen, you really believe. It is a really good movie. I really recommend you watch it. And if you were a fan of M. Night Shyamalan's earlier work, you'll want to watch this. You're going to watch it again after you realise what is actually happening. There is not a twist in this movie, but there is a reveal. Once you see the reveal, a lot of this movie is going to make sense because there's four or five key things that happen in this movie, which you don't clock onto straight away. But then after you realize what's actually going on, you're like, wow, there was that bit there and he did this with this and he did that with that. That makes so much sense. Don't say to yourself, oh, Shyamalan's on a, on a losing streak with the movies. This movie, he is back on form. Brother, you brown, I'm brown. I'm glad you're back, brother, because I was almost going to lose hope in you in this bitch. I loved Unbreakable. I loved Signs. I l actually really liked The Village. The Last Airbender, you fucked up. Lady in the War. <laughs> oh, The Visit was, was it The Visit? There was another one you did recently. Is it The Visit was also very good. I like that one as well. Yeah, so you, you coming back. You coming back. People, watch this movie. You will not regret it. It's an A1 movie. And when you finish watching the movie, you're going to enjoy it even more. Trust me on this. Watch that bitch. And that's pretty much all I've got to say about it, people. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to catch up with you guys soon.